they popped them in the head. Immature, they raped them boys. They, they literally raped them boys, dude. Tigger, Tigger was done in too. All of them are. If they didn't follow the rituals, they could not get airplay. Did you know that? If they didn't have the right executives sucking them off and in return popping them in the anal, you know they couldn't sell records. Because the music business is a forest, man. And, they, and if, when you look at them, they look hardcore. Like, oh, man, they ain't down with that. Yeah, they are. Waka flocka. You can't shit. You can look at him and tell he done, he done sucked a few. Come on now. All these guys, man. Two pop two. When he took, I said this before, but let me really reiterate. When he took that picture in the bathtub with the go between his legs, he was a pinup bitch. He submitted to them like, hey, whatever goes on, goes on. I just want to get paid. That's the way they get down. It's just the truth. Some people can handle the truth and some people can't. We don't care. But it's, it's time to start looking at things with both eyes open and not both eyes shut because the truth is the light, man. It's this cat that uh, want to be a part of the rap game so bad, man. He looked like he would kill his mama to get a, a hit record. Rick Ross signed this guy on YouTube. And when Rick Ross signed that dude, man, as wicked as Rick Ross is, now you know Rick Ross is wicked as hell. He did not want to sign that brother. When he signed, when that dude signed that contract with Rick Ross and, and Jew Maker hit it right on the point, he looked at that, that, that contract, man, he just shook his hat. But you can see in his eyes, he just had a look where all bets are off, like, God damn, another brother gone. You see what I'm saying? But them demons got to be fed, man. He has to do it. He has to feed the demons, meaning he got to keep sign. He got to find people who's vulnerable and dumb enough to want to sell their soul. Once you once you get into the sodomite world of Hollywood, you have to keep initiating. Why do you think he didn't keep bringing out new people? He's going to help them. He's going to give them one song, and he's going to get rid of them. Where's Danny Kane at? <laughs> I mean, seriously, where they at? He really made those girls look like whores, which they probably already are. Now they're just taking skin shots, right? Booty shorts, ass cheeks out. See, that's what that's what happened when you get in this world. And by the way, them girls was turned out too. So y'all really believe that this doesn't go on? Do you really believe that it's all about perseverance and getting your education and just getting with the right person to see your talent and give you that type of wealth? These people are demonic. You see those guys on uh, HGTV, you know, that home network, how they show you how to fix up a house and buy property. These people are all demonic. Selling New York and all that, all of them are gay. All those brokers are gay, and most of the women go by. I'm just telling you how they get down. What they try to do is show you how to build a house and show you how to buy property, but at the same time, they show you how to intertwine with gay. See, a lot of y'all don't catch that. Y'all just look at it as, oh, that's people are people. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's a mind control set. The, the food network, brother. Get it? You look at these guys and be like, man, I'm a chef. I just want to do food. I don't want to be a part of Hollywood. They got their hand on everything that makes money. To be a part of the food network, you got to do the same thing as getting a hip-hop contract. It's just dealing with food. You got to take the oath. You got to be a part of the brotherhood. And if you're going to make money like Rachel Ray, you got to sign your name in blood, too. She's wicked as hell. Now, now check this. Whenever they're doing HGTV, notice when they're doing the HGTV, they have their hands in pyramids a lot. So y'all got to start checking the flow because everything in Hollywood and everything on cable is ran by who, Illuminati? You get this. So this is how they roll. They always, when they're talking about home networking and how to buy property, they have their hands in the pyramid. This on HGTV now.